Hello and welcome to the demo about our underground sensor network called MoleNet. So what we are planning to show you right now, we have our underground sensor network system which is called uh, MoleNet. Uh, the special thing about it is that we bury not only the sensor but also the sensor node and achieve an underground wireless communication. The sensor network is connected using our MoleNet gateway. That means inside MoleNet we are using 433 MHz radio technology and the base station uh, connects this 433 MHz MoleNet sensor network to other technologies. For example, Wi-Fi connection or LoRa-based or even cellular-based connection to send the sense data to the internet and display it using our web service. So let's talk about the history of MoleNet. The basic idea comes from a cooperation with soil scientists. They came to us asking for a system to monitor the results of their research. In their area, the experiments are very long-lasting. That means the system should operate over several years. The next problem is that they are not experts in electrical engineering and the projects are running in remote or even in developing countries. That means it should be really easy to maintain and to handle, easy to build and to repair. Also, no state-of-the-art technologies can be used as only cheap and older parts are available in the area of application. As the projects are long-lasting, the battery should last for a long period of time. That means we are talking about months up to several years. Of course, the measurements should be precise and the data transmission should be reliable and inexpensive at the same time. Let's have a closer look at one of our MoleNet nodes, or more precisely to the PCB. This system is basically an Arduino, that means we have an RT Mega microcontroller operating at 3.3 volts. We have a radio interface operating at 433 MHz, which makes the system a wireless sensor network. 433 megahertz ca uh, can be used to communicate uh, under the surface between the node and also to communicate to our MoleNet base station. The red part in the upper left area is an RTC and real-time clock which allows us to wake up the system over a long period of time and also offers an exact timestamp for our sensor readings. The gray part in the lower right is our sensor interface. Here we use STI-12 to communicate to some standardized soil sensors which are offering, for example, the volumetric water content, the conductivity, and the temperature, and so on. We also have some external flash memory in here for the long-term st uh, data storage of the measured data. The black thing on the top is the antenna for the 433 MHz transceiver. So let's have a look at our system architecture. Number one is our sensor network itself. These are the buried uh, MoleNet nodes, which means the uh, buried sensors and uh, nodes. They can communicate between each other and also with the base station. The base station is marked with the number two. Attached to the base station, there could be, for example, a weather station adding additional data. The base station communicates with some kind of infrastructure. This can be, for example, the Things network for LoRa-based communication. It could be a cellular network or even a Wi-Fi connection. While the internet, the data is transmitted to our data server, where the user can access the data and see the most recent graphs from the measurements. Okay, now let's have a closer look at our MoleNet system. Here I have a box of sand which demonstrates how the sensor is placed in the nature. The sensor here is a combined moisture and temperature sensor of the type 5TM. This one is placed in soil, covered and detects the soil moisture. The sensor data is then handled by our MoleNet. Here I have a node which freshly returned from a field test. Here you see 
the mole net PCB, the power supply and the antenna. The sensor is connected using this cable to our SDI-12 interface. The data is processed by an Atmel microcontroller which is programmed using the Arduino language. A real-time clock is making sure that the measurements are timed exactly and stamped with a correct timestamp. The transceiver and the antenna operate at 433 MHz. For local data storage, we also included a flash memory. All the hardware is open source and we put special effort on it to make it easy to assemble and maintain. You see a graph from our web interface. In the first period of time, we only tested the radio connection, that means no sensor was connected and some of the values or the measurement values uh, from the sensor were set to zero. We have uh, several measurements. The black one is the radio signal strength indicator, which corresponds to the signal strength of the radio. Blue is the volumetric water content, red is the soil temperature, and green is the conductivity. After placing the sensor in the soil, the water content of the soil reduced continuously. As we had a quite a dry summer, no rainfalls can be seen here in this graph. The complete dataset can be downloaded later on as an X file by clicking on the corresponding line on the bottom of the page. Thank you for watching this video about our MobileNet project. If you have any further questions, please contact me or my colleagues. Further information about the project can be found on the project webpage molenet.org or on GitHub.